I'm so bad at this, it's embarrassing. After the second round of Gordon Ramsay's failures, we all knew you were going to want more. After all, who doesn't want to see these moments when Gordon totally failed, embarrassed himself, or maybe even got owned by his own kids? It's not always that we see Chef Ramsay be the one who is being laughed at. That's why we went the extra length to put together this new list of 10 other moments when Chef Ramsay actually failed on TV. Say, oh, A failed prank. They say startling people while they're driving is, is a safety uh, violation. In case you didn't know, Gordon Ramsay is a well-known prankster. You just got pumped! You just, you did it, come here! Save the camera! Save the camera! Come on, say it right there! Chef Ramsay has done several pranks in pretty much all of his different TV shows. However, one of his latest pranks backfired. So we bought Megan a car for her birthday. Okay. I got the lesson sorted out, and then I did something really bad, but I feel bad. I'm sure. While his offspring was talking to her instructor, Gordon decided to hide inside the car. It took some determination, like Gordon said. This tiny <laughs> little car. Then his daughter finally came to drive the car. All right, where's the Russian coke peddler? 25 minutes later, sat in, indicators, mirror, left, right, horn, etc. There was just one little adjustment. I just want to pull my seat back, pull the seat back, and crush me right in the nuts. <laughs> That wasn't the outcome Gordon was expecting at all. What'd she say? Dad, chill, relax your sack, I'll get an Uber. Loving this video so far? Show us some love, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Failing a milkshake challenge. My milkshake brings all the boys during season six of MasterChef Junior, the kids competed in a milkshake challenge, where they had to make the most milkshakes in under five minutes using a hand crank blender. In the event your electricity goes down, there's always this. Muscle power. During the promotion for the show, Gordon decided to do a version of the challenge himself. The rules? You need to make as many as you can in five okay. minutes, and each milkshake needs to be topped up with whipped cream, cherry, and a straw. When the challenge started, Gordon started going fast. But Gordon's process ended up being a bit too messy. Uh, you can't fill them all with berries. No, I'm not going to put a little berry in the top, and then I'll show you a little, little blend. Then the vanilla ice cream and the blender proved to be a real problem. Too scary. Oh. But he managed to get the thing going. When he poured it, there was only enough ice cream for six cups. Gordon needed to make more. That's hard there, by the way, you know that. Why is it so hard? After he made some more, it was time for the whipped cream, which also came as a surprise. How do, they, how do these work? Push, Where's push the button? Push, push where? I've never used one of these freaking things before. <laughs> anyway, Gordon went for a third round. <laughs> Gordon's milkshake presentation wasn't the best at the end. Honestly, if he was judging them, he would probably be pretty mad. Say, oh, sugar. <laughs> I didn't say shit. Failing to connect with kids. My whipped cream turned out bad. It, it turned into like vomit, so. Great way of selling the dish. On MasterChef Junior, Gordon frequently connected with the kids, bonding over their love of food. Chef Ramsay also comforted kids that were struggling with difficult challenges and taught them great tips to help them improve. I think what you did when you seasoned them, you just hit the top with a spoon. They don't taste salty at all, do they? But not every interaction with the kids was a home run, actually. Like what happened with Abby, for example. Are you going to nail this? I think I will. Good luck. But the little chef couldn't be bothered. Can you move? I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Wow. Can you imagine Gordon's reaction? If that happened in Hell's Kitchen or Kitchen Nightmares, that's not the only example. Shall I tell you what makes me laugh? What? I saw Graham with a pair of Speedos mm -hmm. yesterday. Ramsay kept trying and the little chef seemed unfazed. So many trunks. <laughs> I peed my pants. Airplane food? Am, am I right? Many adults would just try to suck up to Gordon, but kids didn't really care. Nothing compares to being called old, though. Chef Ramsay asked the little chef who made the best cooks. Girls or guys? Even in the olden days, they were cooking and men were just sitting there watching TV. In no offense to you. Chef Ramsay then asked, Am I from the olden days? Yes. Savage. Wow. Failing to impress a restaurant owner. I told him the change would not be subtle and it's important you embrace change. That's not easy, but it's for the best. Kitchen Nightmares is a show all about trying to save awful restaurants that were on the brink of failure. I'm trying to help you to understand the method in your madness. Most owners on Kitchen Nightmares would be ecstatic after seeing the transformation that Gordon devised for those places. But that didn't happen with Adele, who owned the Flamango's restaurant. Welcome to the jungle. We got Junk show. Ah! Right after Gordon revealed the new name for the restaurant, you could see things weren't going too well. How does it sound? 
Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Takes me a while. Unfortunately, Adele seemed too attached to her old restaurant. While many of the staff absolutely loved the changes, Adele hated it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate blue. She kept walking around, muttering things to herself. She even started to cry. Hate, hate, hate. When Gordon showed her the new menu, Adele was not impressed with the new offerings. I mean, this is very limited. After tasting the new menu, Adele still wasn't impressed. <laughs> After so many successful attempts at turning restaurants around, it seemed like Gordon failed to impress this owner with anything. You cannot be personal about nostalgia that hasn't worked, and you have to embrace change. A teaching failure. Jimmy, you got to put a little bit of effort into it. Food I'm sorry, I'm effort. putting effort into it. Uh, stop being lazy. During another of his appearances on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Gordon tried to teach Jimmy Kimmel how to make his famous scrambled eggs. Emphasis on tried. And have a taste, Jimmy. Get close to your food. Come on, wakey, okay. wakey. Um, no, with a fork. Even with Gordon helping out with some of the ingredients, Jimmy Kimmel quickly got overwhelmed with all of the different tasks Gordon was giving him. A small knob of butter. All right, another knob. You, you're crazy about the knobs, aren't you? After the eggs were in the pan, Gordon tried to give Kimmel some instructions. You have to move the pan and the spatula at the same time. Kimmel didn't seem to get the message, though, and Gordon didn't notice. Gordon tried to give some more tips, but Kimmel was just too confused. You relax your elbows a little bit. You're too tense. OK, oh, well, up. it's because you're yelling at me. After the process was over, Gordon took a look at it. Jimmy, it's gone all rubbery. I, oh, God. <laughs> I did. It seemed like Ramsay was trying to get the whole dish going, instead of worrying about teaching Kimmel how to properly scramble those eggs. All of Gordon's teaching skills seem to have gone straight out of the window. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> all in all, that was a double failure. What are you doing, Jimmy? What did you do? You threw it looks like someone vomited over there. Failing to cook against James Corden. Have you ever set a kitchen on fire, Gordon? Yes. Really? Yes, I did, yes. During the Late Late Show with James Corden, Gordon and his daughter Tilly competed against Corden, cooking a full English breakfast. Yes. We are going to be judged on speed, presentation, yes. and quality. Too many chefs in the kitchen can make a mess. Two Ramseys at the same time, things can get a bit loopy. Make right. it in first. Slice the bread. Well, hang on. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, look. No, no, I'm already it's feeling it's pressure here. Then. While James Corden looked like he was pretty far ahead, the Ramses were still arguing about the process. Tilly, when did you Toast. first start to cook? While answering, Gordon took matters into his own hands. Were well, you like everyone else and watched a lot of Jamie <laughs> Oliver on? <laughs> and we all know the saying, when there's smoke, <laughs> After Chef Ramsay put out the flames, he kept going. Burnt. That's crispy. Burnt. Ask James. There James, is that burnt? No, it's caramelized. <laughs> also, Chef Ramsay wasn't a fan of Corden's method of cooking all in just one pan. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's called on. a one pan fry up. Look. But, but that's a one pan <laughs> up. <laughs> the end result of the challenge seemed like none of the breakfasts turned out all that great. Unless you like burnt bacon, that is. It's theater. I'm creating. <laughs> Get out of my kitchen! Failing to make sushi. I'm a sushi version until today. I'm going back to the floor to get the ultimate lesson in the perfect sushi. After many years of experience as a professional chef, Gordon still thinks he has room to grow and improve. You need to practice, man. That's why he went to the Aya restaurant in London. The sushi chefs here have trained for up to 10 years and are all experts handpicked from Japan. There, Chef Ramsay learned a bit of everything. For this task, Gordon had to do a dragon roll. Avocado, eel, cucumber, and salmon roe, intricately wrapped in seaweed paper called nori and rice. While the chef was Flying through the whole dish, Gordon was having a hard time with the rice. The rice sticks to your hands so quickly. Yes. Gordon was nervous, which isn't something you see every day. I feel for the first time in my cooking career, after 21 years in the kitchen, I'm at my depth. Overall, it took Gordon 13 minutes to prepare the whole thing. He also got a harsh critique from the chef in Japanese. You'd think that while making nigiri, Gordon would have fared better. After all, it's rice with fish on top. That wasn't the case, though. I pick up the sushi as we falling apart, so it's not where the form is. Gordon still had a long way to go before he became a good sushi chef. I want to hire him for my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage fail. Martin and Kent, why are you cooking along? During Gordon's Cook Along Live in the UK, Gordon was even more agitated than his normal self. Maybe because he was on live TV? It's live, so something's gonna happen. Chef Ramsay also got a bit of shock during the show. Hello, Gordon. Right. <laughs> Gordon. Hey. But the similarity was uncanny. I get told a lot, but you know what? I've got the look, but I can't cook. <laughs> After a couple of other segments, Gordon returned to see how Martin was doing. Who are you actually cooking dinner for tonight? Tonight, I've got me stepdad, <gasps> me wow. mom, I've just done. Yes. friend just Ryan, yes. and, and me wife's here as well, Gordon. No. Hi, Gordon. Oh. <laughs>
That was Tana. Gordon's actual wife, Martin was getting pretty close and personal with Tana, something that Gordon did not appreciate at all. Get those hands off! He's a fairly good cook. He's, oh, Jesus. <laughs> not done there, Martin closed it all with a pretty good burn. Uh, Don't worry, Gordon. Okay. I'll give it back when I'm done, mate. I'm not done. <laughs> the whole crowd seemed to appreciate that. I'm sorry for the flirting I did at the beginning. I didn't think you were going to be there. A career fail. I love the holidays, and I love to dress like a <laughs> elf. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is a man that is famous worldwide with restaurants all over the globe, a lot of Michelin stars, and countless seasons of TV shows. He has done everything, from rescuing failing restaurants to doing travel shows that were very dangerous. They're still beating. Yeah, yeah wow. F***ing delicious. On MasterChef Junior, Gordon is more like a teddy bear than his usual scary chef persona. So I'm not leaving till you laugh. <laughs> Good luck. Not only that, he ends up doing things that probably are a little ill-advised. Like wearing an elf costume, for example. He looked more like he was trying to cosplay as Will Ferrell from the movie Elf. You sit on a throne of lies. While walking out of a gingerbread house, you can hear his whole crew laughing at him. <laughs> Gordon seemed utterly embarrassed. He was even wondering if this wasn't just some payback prank. Are we being punked today, or is this real? Gordon also seemed like he was wondering how he got to this place. 15 years ago, I won my third mission star. I had no idea I'd be doing this for such an illustrious career, at least Gordon doesn't feel like he needs to take himself too seriously. I kept that costume. Failing to be respected by his kid. I was like the only one that stayed up. That's a yes, we did. Yeah, look at this. That was very good. Oh, for the promotion of Tilly Ramsey's show, Matilda and the Ramsey Bunch, the youngest of the Ramseys, was doing a press tour. The ever supportive father, Gordon, tagged along to many interviews. It was surprising, though, that he was able to stand being savagely burned so many times. I was jealous. Uh, You're scared of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, the whole interview saw Gordon Ramsay being roasted by his teenage daughter. When asked to describe her show, Matilda said that it was different from her dad's. Why? Because yeah. it's more fun. It's not as posh. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like good burns run in the family. Shall I go? When asked why she was interested in cooking, Tilly also had another great comeback. I had to show Dad who was the best, so I had to start <laughs> cooking. He was kind of not as good as me, so he's a bit jealous. So he always tries to say he's the best chef in the world. After that, it was time for Tilly to show off her skills and cook a dish. Do you want to leave your dad here or do you want to take him with you? It's up I'll to you. Leave him here. More leave him here. <laughs> After all, we've all seen how the two of them cooking together can get a bit messy. Don't smash the yolk. No. Don't smash the yolk. A bit of salt. You broke the yolk. You broke the yolk. Broke the yolk. <laughs> what did you think of these fails? Comment down below which of Gordon's fails you love the most. Stick around and enjoy more Babbletop videos by clicking on them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that grey notification bell to join our notification squad.